Hello from the folks at Kerth Electronic. This short video is intended to introduce you to our KE701 Digital Cable Test and Trace Kit from Kerth Electronic. It is a member of our next generation offering of what has been the Technician's Basic Tester, the old Tone and Probe. Um, it looks like a familiar Tone and Probe kit, but we've given it a digital design and updated its features for more modern cable installation and maintenance. I want to point out that this is not a 701K, which is a product of another manufacturer, an older and more basic tester, but well recognized. This is the KE701, as I said, are really a part of our next generation of, of testers. The kit consists of a test unit and tone probe, as you're familiar with from, from tone and probe kits from before. Uh, there are two key differences in this, in this product. Uh, the first being the physical design, which is much more robust than than past designs. It it has molded uh, keypads and, and uh, seals on the labels intended to protect it from water. It's also very rugged and durable. It's toolbox ready, as we'll refer to from time to time. It's meant to be thrown in a toolbox with a screwdriver and a pair of pliers if you need to. The second thing we've done here is that it has a digital design. Uh, both the probe and the test unit have microprocessor hearts in them and uh, gives us the ability to add a lot more unique and updated features. Features like precision tone sending, uh, digital filtering in the probe that allows the probe to listen to its mated unit here if it's if it's useful. Uh, battery saving features, something that's always important, a uh, way of shutting shutting down if uh, it's being, not being used. Audible and visual voltage warnings and short circuit checks. Um, user cues like beeps and light indicators when you're changing modes. And um, last but not least, the Ethernet signaling, which is an important function in modern technician installation and maintenance work. Um, the microprocessor-based probe uh, features a headlight, uh, something that's uh, important. Seems like a gadget trick, but all very important if you've ever used a device like this to find even a good light to, to be able to be sure what you're touching. Um, it has a 577 hertz filter in it that uh, turns on a light when it finds a signal from of 577 hertz, uh, as such as comes from this unit or from other uh, test equipment that's commonly found. The tone tracing kit does all the classic looking into a cable test of the older tone and probe designs. Uh, detecting service voltage and polarity, sending and receiving tracing tones, and checking for short circuits. It uh, it does so uh, in this case with a a nice set of user functions, audible tones, and and LEDs to tell you what mode you're in. I've just selected going into the tone mode, so I can do pair tracing, as you may be familiar with already. It's very easy to do. The the tone tracing uh, tones can be selected to be unique. So if you're tracing a number of circuits at the same time, you can have each tester set on the different tones so you can identify them. Um, an important feature of the KE701 kit is the ability to find and trace not only telephone lines, but Ethernet LAN circuits. Um, in a case that we're looking for an Ethernet LAN circuit, we can go to the data mode. It's evidenced by this green light and take our data plug and go hunting for Ethernet. In this situation, we've got unnumbered jacks. We can't tell what's in each of these jacks. So I can go looking to see if something's in there. Um, up in this case, I have just found Ethernet service, indicated by the beeps and the flashing green light. The light is flashing, and then alternately, it's sending normal link pulses to the Ethernet switch in the back room, meaning that the activity light on the switch is blinking off and on very slowly. So if you don't want a tone trace to the back room, you can go, you can find the circuit this way, put it in this mode, and go in the back room and see which activity light is going. Then I can identify which port is now connected to the jack. If you don't uh, want to do that, or you're having trouble identifying the activity light, you can always go back to the tone mode, and do the tracing manually. If I go, um, normally I can follow this cable then through the patch panel and even back to the switch. Uh, we're sending our tone on, on a pair of wires that is not normally a data tone, so you can hear it all the way back to the switch. So I'm able to identify using tone tracing as well.
So the KE701 kit consists of the KE720 tester, and uh, this tester is rated at 500 volts, I should mention. So it's well protected against hazardous voltages that have sometimes damaged uh, previous types of designs. comes with a KE310 probe, which has the headlight, and a headset jack. So if you choose to have private listening. Um, each requires a 9-volt battery, which is not included in the kit, but uh, relatively simple to find. The KE701 is available from Kurth Electronic Distributors with a recommended list price of $189.